as soon as we have more data, like gigabytes, terabytes of data, and we want to migrate them into autonomous, then data pump is the right way to go with. In this case, we don't have hopefully terabytes of data in Excel files, and we certainly won't export them into CSV files, hopefully. So data pump is the go-to uh, tool in this case, if we want to load larger amounts of data and a lot more than just data. So we can not only load, but also unload all, everything or selected data. And it's, as I said, the best option for larger amounts of data. You can also transform things, which is very, very helpful uh, because in the autonomous, you have a lot of features already, which you may not have in your local environment, like compression features, for instance. So you can transform your data directly into it. And it loads data either via database link from your Oracle database directly, or you put a file into the object storage, and then you access it after you, with your credentials, you opened the door between object storage and autonomous instance. You can use it also via the SQL developer. The SQL developer supports that. One thing to mention here, there's a limitation, the parameter max data pump parallel per job, so the pa intra job parallel degree is maximum 50 and can't be adjusted. And the network mode, if you use that via the database link, can't load parallel metadata. It can load parallel data, but not parallel metadata. And here are the demo. Let me show you the demo. And we take the same data set. Now with the entire schema, all the tables of the metal schema. So this is my user. And first of all, we need the authentication token. So I generate a token. And this token is important because I need to open the door between ADW and the object storage. So I generate a token here, I copy it. And a token is a weird hash string. I go to the documentation and I need this procedure, DBMS Cloud Create Credential. And I copy that already here into my editor. And it has a placeholder for password. And this is not your user password. This is the token. This is very important. If you put your password in, that doesn't work. So here's the wallet stored on my disk. So I have the TNS names and I will set TNS admin. So my SQL plus, my local SQL plus will find these files. In the TNS names, this is what I downloaded before. It's not something I created. It's in this wallet zip download. Uh, there's metal medium, high and low. And I connect here with admin and I use in this case metal medium. Specify my password. And then I will execute my credentials. So this is with the token inside. Now the door is open We're between the object storage and the ADW instance. I would like to place my file now in the object storage. And the prerequisite for that is I create a bucket in my object storage. You basically can't do much. You just give the bucket a name. And when you have the bucket, this takes two seconds, then you upload a file, which I do here. So I upload a file, I access a local file, and in this case, it's a data pump export. So from my local database, I exported already the metal schema. So the dump file is called def metal DMP. And you see the bar going up 60, 70, 80, 90, bang, here we are. So file is now in the object storage, but I need to access it. And so I view the details and here you see the URI, the URL path, which points to this file. Because this is something I need to tell data pump now. I access this locally. So I tell my credentials and here, this is the URI in my import par file. And I access now data pump connecting to my cloud instance, but from my local data pump here, with this import par file, and then it will import from the object storage. And it's already done. So I speed the import a little bit up here. It doesn't make sense to wait a long time. So you see it from the timestamps, the entire import may have taken, oh, not very long here, a few seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, something like that. And then it's there. So what did I do? Open a door with the credentials between the autonomous instance and my object storage create a bucket in the object storage, put my dump file into it, 
call data pump locally, but tell data pump the URI to the file in the object storage. That's it. Bang. It's not complicated. And five minutes, this is running.